Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be part 27 of our Snowflake Zero to Hero series. In today's world, like it's a completely which is data generated, we know the security is the key and protecting our sensitive data is something which is non-negotiable. In this video, we will be focusing on one of the most powerful security feature which Snowflake offer that is a dynamic masking. It's a dynamic data masking. In this, you will be completely getting a clarity that how we're going to use the roles and create a masking policy to ensure your sensitive data is going to be remain protected or hidden from unauthorized user while providing the right level of access to the right people. So whether you are working with financial data, with PII personal information data or anything else that needs protection, this feature is crucial for maintaining data privacy without interrupting your workflows. So let's get started and understand what dynamic data masking is and how we are going to implement in the Snowflake. So this Snowflake DDM is basically a data security feature which is going to allow you to alter a section of data and that you can keep uh, hide it that you can keep undisclosed like uh, going to keep it like uh, uh, anonymity using a predefined masking strategy so in this suppose i am a data owner and i am going to say this uh, particular customer needs to have only and only certain level of access of my data if i do have a customer table which is going to have phone number address uh, and uh, name gender everything but i do not want that the phone number should be displayed to everyone in a real world example if you know that whenever you order from anything from Zomato, amazon or flipkart these days you got the call from 011 or uh, 0124 or something you direct directly do not get the call from the delivery boy why because they are going to hide your data and whenever the delivery boy called up they you basically got a different number just to hide your uh, just to provide additional level of security or in a second a second example whenever you uh, reach out to any credit card customer like uh, any credit card provider like hdfc amex standard chartered suppose you wanted to report a case or you wanted to inquire something so when you are going to dial the customer care number the ccp is going to answer something like hey sir thank you for calling mx can you please help me with the last four digit of your credit card so why he asked only for last four digit because the the admins and the, the person who is uh, higher in the system they have not exposed the entire credit card of the customer to these ccp so that they cannot misuse it so data owners can decide how much sensitive data to reveal, uh, to reveal to different data consumers or data requester using Snowflake dynamic masking functions. We are going to create this dynamic masking and going to apply to the number to the uh, any tables, any particular columns. You can create a number of masking policy. You can apply to like one column, two column, three columns. You can even do a tag based masking policies. In this video, I'm not going to cover tag based masking policy. We will be creating a uh, like uh, the policies, maybe one or two masking policies we're going to create. And I'm going to show you that how you can use these masking policies to protect your data using a different different roles. So just look at this image. I took it from the Internet. Uh, so here, if you will look at the on the left hand side, this is a customer table. This is the unmasked data which admin can see it. So we have first name, last name, date of birth, SSN, country, city and zip code. Now SSN or we can consider a bank card or Aadhaar card which is going to be kind of a uh, PII data and we do not want that anyone should have an access of SSN number of my customer. So then we will be mask it. So they should have the access of this table but once they are querying it, they should see only the last two digit, last four digit of it. Just like you can see into the call center member, the role 4356 and test is coming as mask. The first name is completely mask. So either you can do a partially mask or a complete mask. So let's implement that into the snowflake. So come to the snowflake. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one masking policy. But before that, let's understand on which data we are going to do it. So understand that this is a, uh, I have one table which is customer and in this I have some information like first name last name date of birth the credit card number the pen card and the uh, city we have and the country now I know that the credit card and the pen card is something a PIL uh, information which CCP means customer care professional or the supplier um, like probably I mean supplier by here by the uh, the shipping company who is going to uh, ship your credit card from bank to your address they should not know about these information what if there is a, another third person and you wanted to say that if there is a, a guy a who is an admin he would be able to see this entire data but there is a guy b who is a ccp and he should see some mass data mask something like uh, like that he should see this or if there is another guy, see, when he is trying to get the data, then it can be something like it's a sensitive data. So there should you get some kind of a text and this bit completely hide it. So we can say this is going to be unmasked data for A, for B it's partially masked and for C is completely masked, which he, he cannot even imagine that what kind of a values will be there. Okay, so come to the snowflake now. I'm going to create this masking policies. The masking policy name is going to be PI masking. I have to give one parameter here, like I'm going to pass one uh, card. It's you can keep it any name, but make sure that you are using a correct data type. So if I'm writing a string, then it may make sure it is returning the string also. Otherwise, data conversion error you will be getting. So the syntax is pretty simple. Create a replace masking policy, PI masking as, and then you are going to do it. Now you are writing some based on some case conditions. We know these are the some system functions, the current role. So when you are going to run any, uh, any query and all, the snowflake current role function is going to, going to identify that from which role you are trying to execute that statement. So it's going to check if it is an account admin, then it should see the complete information. But if this is a CCP, then you can use it. This should be the regex replace and it can be replaced from first to seven character with this hash. You can even use anything else. OK. And the next is if the role is the supplier, then he should see only the dollar dollar dollar. But along with like apart from this account admin CCP and supplier, if there is any third or fourth person who is having a different role, then the data should like like you can see me. So I'm going to create it. This is for my P. OK, PM asking cannot be reports. All right. So this I have already done it. So let's do a quickly unset this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unset that. Okay, and okay, because I have already done that, so I'm going to uh, repeat this step from way first starting. I'm going to create this PA masking policies which have been created. Second, I'm going to create another which is a PII, or we can say this is a PII2. Any any name you can keep it PII2, and I'm going to create it. In this also, I'm doing the same thing. Uh, although it's totally up to you, you can change it. Uh, you can use your SQL knowledge. You can use uh, your string function knowledge and then you can apply that. Now I do have these two policies and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this table, which is my credit card customer, which is having ID, name, last name, credit card or something. Now you have two options. If your policy is already there and you want it to uh, apply any masking policy at the time of table creation then you can use this syntax so just after declaring the data type you're going to mention masking policies and that policy name so one policy I'm going to create at the runtime then if you're going to uh, describe your table you will be seeing that there is a masking policy mentioned in front in front of the credit card column so it is showing the complete uh, database name, schema name and the policy name. Now, what if the table is already there and then you have created a masking policy? So how would I apply if the table is already there? Then for that, I need to run this alter statement 
alter table affected credit card customer modify column credit card set masking policy and that the policy name so this for the credit card it's already there now what i'm going to do is i'm going to set it for the pen card number okay now if you're going to describe this table one more time you should see this two entities having a credit card and pen card so, okay now for the account admin because right now it's account admin so if i'm going to right select star from credit card customer i should see the complete information i should see the complete uh, complete data oh my bad my bad my bad I, I have to insert some record so what i can do i can write this insert into command and then we can run this so after that, if you are going to use an account admin with this where condition, you can see this complete data. And even if you are not using this where condition and you are writing it, you will be seeing that this is complete data. It's not masked, not even a partially masked data. But this is something which we what we wanted. At least admin should have a complete access of this data, which is fine. Now, uh, in the last video, if you remember, I told you how we can create a roles. Okay. So I was showing you if the role is CCP or supplier for that, I have already created these roles. If you are new, how we're going to create the roles and all, then you can watch my part 26 means just the previous video there. I have explained it, how to create user and roles. Okay. So the quickly you're going to click on plus role. You're going to give a role name and then you will be giving granted to roles or granted to users or something. So I have the CCP, I have one user, I have a supplier, I have assigned to one user. Now, once I have created these two, ro two uh, roles, then the next thing is, I will make sure that those two roles not only should have the access of this particular table, but they should also have the access of this database and the schema. Otherwise, if I'm going to switch to that role, they won't be able to Act, they won't be able to see or use these objects okay so these grant command and all you can run it but i am going to show you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give a users on this my particular database and schema and then these some commands like select and set update on that particular tape on all tables in this schema and even a grant users on warehouse so that they can utilize us i'm going to run these commands Okay, so the CCP part is done. And then the next what I'm going to do is I'm even going to give it to the supplier. Okay, so if you need this, uh, this script, please feel free to share uh, uh, ping me. Otherwise, I'm just going to add it into the description box. So this is something what we're going to execute. Now, if you are going to change the role, if I'm coming and choosing the CCP, I should be able to see my database, which is fine. I am able to also see the warehouse, which is again fine. But now let's look at it. If I'm going to write select staff from credit card customer, what I see. If you will look at it, this is a partially masked data, which is completely fine. This is what we have expected. If you will scroll to the scroll up, there we have mentioned that this is going to replace first seven character with the hash. Next, we have a pen card and this in the pen also we have mentioned that this is going to replace with this four times A, which is fine. So it, it must be having only the four character. Otherwise, if you look at it, then it's like five character and the first four character is replaced by the A. Now, if I check with the supplier role, then I should see the dollar dollar in both the column. Let's see that whether it is going to be true or not. I'm going to switch to the supplier role now scroll down and we'll be writing the same command select star from credit card customer and if you will look at it then see it over here so if this there is a guy who is a supplier or kind of a, like it's a delivery boy who is trying to find out the credit card number of any customer he won't be able to get it now there is a one question which is some which is my favorite when uh, whenever i take interview i usually ask it suppose i'm coming to this account admin suppose i already know that there is a one credit card okay now 
what if i have figured out or i got to know that there is a one credit card number is this so if i search it based on the account admin i'm getting one record which is perfectly fine because i do have it but what if i'm going to change it to the ccp role will i be getting any of this information So even if you have a complete information like a complete value which you're going to add into the filter then this dynamic masking policy is not going to allow you to look that data which is something of very good in the snowflake and that even your data is going to be protected even if somehow they wanted they got to know uh, any column information but they wanted to know the entire information against that column they cannot derive it all right so so far we have seen how we're going to create it how we're going to use the roles uh, how we're going to see this partially mask and the full mask data now what if i'm going to use another role like on top of these ccps other than the ccp and all so let's say i'm going to use this sysadmin and then if i just execute select star from credit card customer look at it what i'm getting you cannot see me and this is what i have defined my in my masking policies okay i hope uh, so far you you uh, it's clear okay now the last thing is if there is a requirement um, to unset the masking policies okay because you are going to try to recreate it then before recreating this masking policy you have to unset it and to unset this masking policies you are going to write this command uh wait a minute wait a minute i guess i have reached to this multiple masking policies so i have copied this script from somewhere so what we can do to unset the masking policies you are going to run this command i'm going to copy it alter table if i just modify column on first you wanted to remove from this column but why it is throwing an error the reason because we do not have the sufficient privilege by using the sysadmin role so i will be switching to my account admin role and then gonna do it similarly i will be removing from the credit card and then going to unset the masking policies now there is a one uh, here uh, into in this uh, the dashboards If I come here and come into the governance part, there, if you're gonna create any tag, then it will be showing shown up here. With most used policies for the column, you can see there is a one PIM masking policy that is being used most use tags for column so there is another uh, like you will be implementing a tag based masking policy which i will be covering into the next section next uh, sections and all that most use policies for a table it's going to take time it's going to take time to reflect it uh, data was refreshed five uh, five years ago and then we have recreated the tables and all so you will be seeing that all those tables which is going to be used tags and the policies and which is the most used policies so kind of a governance overview you will be getting over here tables with the row axing policies table with uh, like how many tags column we have column with the masking policies you're going to get it over here all right so we have seen uh, either you can create one masking policies or you can create a multiple masking policies you can assign it then you can query it you can set it you can unset it and similarly you can do with the other uh, uh, other roles also and for the other tables or other columns all right so thank you for watching uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video if yes then please uh, comment it and share with your friends and like it thank you so much